Hey everybody, it's Josh the Firearm Convention coming at you with a quick video. Um, just got a box in, obviously, from Accurate Molds. I did a video on them a little while ago where I didn't showcase their molds exactly, but I, I talked about their molds in comparison with Lee and what other and others. I ordered these bullet molds, I want to say, two weeks ago. And there's three of them in here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I had to take off my address. There's some weird people in the world. Sorry if I offend somebody, but it is what it is. So, just pretend that says, at the firearm convention. Alright, so this is a sealed box. I haven't done anything with it. As you can see. So, let's go ahead and crack this baby open. And see what we got on the inside here. Uh, packaging on the outside is very well done. I don't expect anything... You know, less from accurate mold at this point but for those that are you know unfamiliar with the brand i figured this would be a good opportunity to show you how this stuff shows up at your door so you know, standard newspaper They're in there somewhere. Okay, there's a box. There's a box. There's a box. Okay. So, let's get all this stuff out of the way. Let's toss it down there for right now. And we've got three boxes with three separate bullet molds in them. So each one of them is sealed individually, you know, so that they can't come open during shipment. Okay, let's open number one here. And this is half of a mold that's wrapped in brown paper. And he, I like that he ships them separate. You know, I like that he ships them, you know, wrapped up separately like these mold halves because they can jiggle loose in transit and then the pins would beat up the face of one side here. So that's the half of one. I almost forgot to do this on camera. Okay, move this out of the way. There's the second half. Okay, uh, pretty much what I come to expect from Accurate. This one, it's beautiful. I mean, look at the look at the vent lines on the sprue plate, you know, or underneath the sprue plate. A lot of guys don't put that on there, but it really does help with base fill out, you know, to get those nice, perfectly square bases. These bases, guys, are so sharp that you could almost peel skin off, which is just awesome. Um, this is the 36-230D, and basically it's a 360 diameter, 230 grain, and the D designation is his designation for the, um, what 230 grain, 36 caliber bullet mold it is. Basically, let's see if we can get this to focus. This one is for the 358 Winchester, pretty solid design. You know, we're going to see what it does in the 358. So, there's that guy set aside. I'll pull them all out here in a little bit once we get them all opened up. Um, all of them are going to be aluminum. You know, we didn't get any brass or iron. Mainly just due to cost. I mean, they're not necessary. This one, I think, is going to be the five cavity. Yep, and there's half of his five cavity. There we go. You know, and again, most excellent, you know, design. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful. These molds have always stood out to me as being, you know, just great bullet molds. 
let me get the other half out of this box here and this will this will have the, the sprue plate on in it along with the other half and there it is these two go together as such nice and easy now this one has the troughed style plate let me show you the difference here real quick see how see how this plate doesn't have a bridge between the two holes they're separated this one has a troughed let me see if i can get her to focus there she is this one has a troughed cut in between the the, the sprue holes and that's you know so that when you're when you're pouring this one your pours here and instead of doing pour stop pour stop pour stop pour stop pour stop you do pour and just let it continually flow as you run it through the holes pretty pretty solid in how that works now on this one this one is the 35129e and this one is basically a truncated cone design I mean, just look at how quick they fall apart. It's a, they're freaking awesome. And basically, it's 130 grain bullet mold. And this one has a, it's for the like tight throats of nine millimeters. You can see a step right there. Let me, let me get a pointer here. You can see a step like right here, right there. That's like for tight throats. You can see it really good on this one right here. For tight throats I actually spec this to be a few thousand smaller than here you know and and a few thousand smaller than what he designed it as because we're gonna powder coat this so I wanted that extra small that way when we raise when we put on the powder coat we don't um, run into tolerance issues there we go we don't run into tolerance issues after we added two to three thousandths worth of powder coat potentially but the rest of them you know, the rest of it we basically got it squared away now this one is going to be another two cavity mold this is going to be one of his 30 caliber mold bullets and this one is of my design but again on the face and then there this one is like i said of my design and it is a 155 green bullet that's designed for um, kind of a tight throated 30 caliber but can be used pretty much with any 30 caliber bullet mold can, or bullet or cartridge rather man blah, 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 blah. english is a hard thing guys it really is okay and of course here's the sprue on this one sprue plate they go together and again yeah you could cut your skin off on those on those holes beautiful just an absolutely gorgeous bullet mold i like the handle angle on this because when i'm coming in with my thumb i can crack this open pretty easy with my thumb i can push like this and of course like you just saw i mean i didn't even think about it you know you just run your finger across the back of the plate like this and it closes it you know and then push away with your thumb with the block and it'll crack them open beautiful beautiful design sprue plate um, awesome bullet mold you really can't get much better than this let's get them all in a family photo here real quick and then we're going to move on to one other thing that we got in the mail another shout out to a gentleman that uh, I just can't can't say enough about okay so this one is a slightly different design sprue plate. I'm sure you saw that, and I wanted to bring that up real quick. This one, because it's got five, this one is a more angular push. You couldn't push it like this with your thumb and get it to break. So you're going to have to come in here and pop it like that. And also, you know, and I don't condone it, but for those that do, you, know, you can come in here and tap here, right? But... And the reason why I don't do that is because you're putting a lot of stress on this pivot pin as you hit it. You know, I mean, you're putting the same amount of stress when you gently break it. 
but the difference is you're not shock loading this point. Remember, this point is in is in aluminum. You know, this is an aluminum cavity, and that's a steel you know bolt. So you are shock loading you know that that piece of aluminum. And I don't know if you could potentially break it, egg it out, whatever. But you know, for me, I just can't bring myself to beat on a bullet mold. So there's that three accurate bullet molds. Now you're not going to see me casting with these. These are actually for the other, <clears throat> pardon me, the other gentleman on here that does videos, Johnny. Yeah, so these are his bullet molds. He's just getting into casting. And I told him, you know, dude, just go ahead and get this squared away. But we got them ordered in and shipped to my house because he didn't want them sitting out. He lives, you know, you know on the outskirts of uh, 270. And he didn't want these sitting on his front porch, you know, all day. So he had them shipped to my house since, you know, I'm the country boy that lives out in the sticks. So got him a brand new set of handles from Brownells. They run a grand total of $15.99. I have the edge shipping, so, you know, I got free two-day on these. And, of course, you know, all of his designs, all of his blocks are designed to fit the two cabin, the, the twos up to the fives are designed to fit these Lee handles. All right, that's pretty much an industry standard, like I said before. So let's get these put away. I'm gonna put these back in their block, you know, these blocks back in their boxes. Say that five times fast. All right, now, move that over there. And then I wanna talk about powder coat. So we went ahead and ordered some powder coat as well. We're gonna be getting into powder coat for the first time. You know, I've been wanting to get into it for a while, but you know, I figured what the heck, now's the perfect opportunity. So, let's talk about powder coat. This powder coat comes from a gentleman on the Cast Bullets website called Smoke4320. Basically, he's a, he's a direct retailer of powder coat. Um, and this was, you know, I got two pounds of powder coat. Of this, I, I called him up, and his phone number is on the website, on, on the the cast bullets for him i'll put a link to his product you know in the description so that you guys can find him but you know this phone number's on there and i called him up and i said man i said i don't i don't uh know exactly what colors i want i had told him the method that i'm going to be using i said yeah i'm just going to do the shake and bake you know with some with some you know bbs with some of the airsoft bbs and i said you know I know all your colors are pretty, pretty well, you know, tested, but if you do seem to have any, like, really standout colors that are really easy to coat with, could I get you to send me, you know, a sample pack of those? And basically he sent me a half pound of each one of these. It's called Orange Brown, Signal Blue, John Deere Green, and Wine Red. And he'll do this. In single packs, or, or, or I'm sorry, in one pound boxes, you know, you can get all of it in JD Green, all of it in blue, you know, pick your color. You can get as many pounds of it in a singular color as you want. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to kind of sample it, and so did Johnny, so we kind of just got a, a smattering. If you only order one pound for no additional charge, he will give you three colors. You know, and you get to pick your three colors. And he'll put them in third pound boxes instead of half pound bags. You know, he'll put them in third pound bags. All these bags are double bagged, you know, Ziplocs. So they don't, you know, they won't, uh, you know, bust in shipping. And his packaging was really good as well. But that's just something I wanted to give a shout out to that gentleman. Absolutely wonderful customer service. Uh, great guy to deal with. And for one pound of powder shipped and this is where it really is a good thing you know he'll do all that for you plus one pound of powder shipped is going to run you a grand total of like twenty four dollars twenty five dollars i think it was and while that sounds high a pound of powder a pound of this powder is going to do probably twelve thousand bullets and you can get it in three different colors for no additional money you know, if you go anywhere else, you're going to have to buy three pounds of powder to get three separate colors plus shipping. You know, so the, the savings there, if you want to do, you know, some other colors is pretty high on the list. It's pretty, pretty well out there. But anyway, guys, I appreciate your watching the video. 
I thank you for, you know, subscribing. I thank you for, you know, being a part of the gun community. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The gun community is the best community to be in, bar none, hands down. And I wish all of you a great day and I will see you later.